Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. Listen, uh, last thing I did was, um, well, I've got a two-week ban on, well, those of you that know who I am, I got a two-week ban on you know where. But uh, the last video I did was on the wilderness and knives. So a knife and fire, being able to make a fire, probably two of the most important things you could ever have in the wilderness. And Revelation 12 tells you the future of the church is the wilderness. Of course, people will tell you that the woman is the you-know-who's over in the Middle East, and then the, the bride is the church. Uh, you know, they will make you want to think that Jesus has two different brides. No, there's only one bride. I suggest you read Galatians 3.29. We're all one in Christ. There's not a Jewish bride and then a Christian bride. Sorry, but um, if you go out in the wilderness, uh, how many matches can you carry? Okay. Lighters leak propane, uh, whatever it is, propane fuel or whatever it is. They leak the gas. So, you know, uh, how would you start a fire? Well, starting learning how to start a fire is important. You know, especially if it was uh, 10 degrees outside and you needed to get warm. So, there's a thing called, uh, I was wrong in my last video, it's called ferrocerium, C-E-R-I-U-M. I thought it was ferrocesium, but I was wrong. But it doesn't matter. Cerium is a metal that when it is struck with friction, it burns. So they put, um, they mix it with uh, a ferrous metal, which is iron, so that the iron will burn. Uh, basically, it uh, burns very hot. And you just take a pile of dead leaves crumbled up and, that are really crispy and dry and then Take the striker thing and scrape it really hard and shoot the sparks into the pile of dried leaves or whatever you got. Maybe uh, cotton balls or, you know, anything that'll burn easily. And you use that and start a fire and then put little twigs in it and then start putting bigger sticks until you get a roaring fire and you can stay warm in that 10 degree weather. So... Uh, two companies that make really good uh, fire starters and it doesn't matter if they get wet doesn't matter if there's snow on the ground doesn't matter if the fire starters are wet uh, they will if you scrape them they will spark and send sparks out and start a fire I have used them uh, having a lighter and matches is great but uh, you know not everybody has that so uh, light my fire, one word, light my fire. Uh, it's a company in Sweden. They sell these things. You want the army model. And then there's another company called Fire, F I R E, Steel, S T E E L dot com, firesteel.com. Uh, they're in New Hampshire. Those two companies make the best fire starters. Um, you want the Gobsmark. Gobs, Gobspark, G-O-B-S-P-A-R-K, uh, as in gobs, lots of sparks. I would get the one with the, uh, uh, the, the covering that has the scraper on it. This way, the, uh, the stuff that creates the fire is protected. You'll see it on their website. Uh, I would have that in any kind of... Uh, survival pack or whatever they call it you know fema suggests everybody have a survival pack at least for three days and that's not bad advice so you know uh fire what is fire good for well you can uh use it as a signal to be rescued you can use it to keep warm in the winter create light so that you can see things you can use it to boil and purify water uh fire is useful for a number of things so 
But uh, suppose you didn't want to have people see your fire, but you wanted to be able to cook food to uh, make sure the food was not contaminated with uh, disease or bugs or whatever. Well, then they have a thing called the Dakota Fire Hole. D-A-K-O-T-A, -A, like the state, South Dakota, North Dakota. Uh, when people were on the Great Plains, they would dig a hole in the ground. And just like the picture, uh, and the thing is, they would uh, bury, bury, make a hole, kind of in the shape of a U, sort of. And whichever way the wind was blowing, you would put the air hole on the far side away from where the wind's blowing. And you would have the fire underground facing, you'd put your sticks and fire stuff in the hole closest to where the wind direction is coming from. Because you didn't want the wind going down the air hole and then blowing ashes up and fire in your face. So always have the air hole furthest away from where the wind is blowing. And you could uh, build a fire and if you were on the plains, like, you know, flat level ground, uh, wouldn't be easily to be seen. And uh, if you have a fire on flat ground, a uh, fire can be seen for miles. Suppose you didn't want to be found. The military has been using this trick for uh, many, many years. And, well, the, the Indians did too. There was actually a Dakota tribe or a Lakota tribe. I'm not sure exactly what. But uh, that's what they named the state after. But, uh, you know, it's a very, very important thing to have. And I would have more than one. There's another really nice thing called the blast match. B-L-A-S-T match. Blast match. It's a one-handed uh, one affair. You just open it up and then you push down on it. And the scraper scrapes on the rod that sparks. Uh, it's very similar to when you're trying to uh, light a cigarette lighter, the thing that, you know, sparks. That's uh, basically what that ferro uh, cerium rod does. Or those of you that have used a welding torch, you know, and you use your, uh, you squeeze the thing and it creates sparks. Or, uh, I, you know, that's how it works. So, Something to think about. So, a good knife and a uh, way to start a fire. Probably two of the most important things to have. And there'll be more on this series uh, for as long as I'm on my channel. So, all right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.